Hello all, welcome back to Tech Tapture. So we are continuing our Google Cloud Composer series here. So in this today's video, we are going to see how we can create our first Airflow DAG. So if I am saying Airflow or a Composer, don't worry, both are same. Just a Google Cloud Composer is Google managed Airflow, which is hosted on a Google Cloud's infrastructure. So we'll see few terminologies from our Composer here. So I'll go to next slide. So we'll see this airflow terminology. So what is DAX? So DAX are nothing but directed a cyclic graph or a collection of tasks. So why it is showing directed a cyclic graph? So it can go in both directions. It means we can mention a condition. Okay, there are three tasks. First task is successful, then execute second task. If first task is failed, then execute third task. So based on your condition, it will execute your next task and what is task so task can be anything like any particular single operation can be defined as a task so this can be like you are checking a particular version or it can be running script or a command or it can be preparing for data ingestion or just check if data is available in the table before loading into the table or it can be monitoring any particular api like we are monitoring in airflow web server we are monitoring airflow ui okay so or a sending an email it can be a task so this is a bit difficult to understand let me give you a simple example so we have a situation here so what we have to do every weekend we have to stop our a database vm we have to take backup using a machine image and if machine image backup or machine image creation is success then only it should start vm if machine image creation is failed then what we'll do instead of machine image we'll go and we'll take a disk snapshot so it is again a kind of backup so it will take a disk snapshot and if this snapshot is successful then it will start a vm so this is a simple flow here so this is very very basic flow i am mentioning here so just understand here the second task machine image if it is failed it will go for this snapshot if it is success it will go for start vm and this this snapshot will not be executed this will be executed only in case of failure of this machine image task okay so we'll go in our cloud console and create a dag for the same scenario but how we can create the dag okay so in last video we have seen we have cloud composer and in airflow ui we have seen one airflow monitoring dag but how to create that dive so for that we need a few things here so what are the things to create the dive so first we need a dag definition file so it's nothing but a python script you have to create one python script you can name it anything so suppose abc.py and you have to write a code for a particular dag like you write code for your pipeline the similar way you have to write code for your dag you have to mention the task execution what a particular task will do suppose first task is doing a command execution one is executing one scripts or anything so you have to mention a particular task in the dag definition files so this is a simple python script which specifying dag structure as a code once your abc.py or anything dot py is ready you can upload that to the dax folder and if your syntax are correct then your dag will be visible in your airflow ui so these simple three steps you have to follow while creating a dag so now i'll go to my cloud console and airflow ui and we'll show you how we can create our first dag so i am here on my google cloud dashboard i'll go to composer i'll simply open composer from here and i'll be opening few tabs now so i'll be opening one cloud shell i'll be opening a composer ui so first from here i'll open a airflow web server that is your airflow ui and again i will open this dax folder you could see dax folder so when i click on this it will go to my gs storage bucket okay gcs storage bucket so to create a dag you have to upload file in this so just show me example now here you could see only one dag is available airflow monitoring so there will be one file in dax folder with this airflow monitoring dag id so if i go here and i'll click on dax so it will take me to the google storage bucket here you could see airflow monitoring dot py else i can see the code of this airflow monitoring dot py in URL, so I'll go here inside this 
airflow monitoring ui i'll open this and i'll see the code here so i can see the code here also so i'll refer the this code only to create our new dag okay so i'll explain everything from this code before that i'll go i'll open a new tab here and i'll open my cloud shell and cloud editor so vi editor in my cloud shell or we can see it is a code editor so we already have inbuilt code editor in a cloud shell i'll be using that for creating our python file okay so i'll open cloud shell first i'll open it in a new tab and here i'll open editor so here i have a cloud shell and here i'll open a editor so both the things i'll keep open okay so what i will do here so in cloud shell first i'll create one airflow folder so here i'll just simply create mkdir airflow okay and from this code editor i'll open this airflow folder so i'll open this airflow folder so you can use your local vs code also to create a python file you just we need to write python code and upload into the storage bucket dax folder so i'll simply create one file here so we have to implement the same pipeline here which we have mentioned so i'll give the name as a backup dag name i'll give as a database backup okay so i'll go here again and i'll create one file i'll give the name as a db backup dot py i'll save it okay so we have airflow db dot py or instead i'll put underscore let me check the last latest file okay instead of hyphen i'll give underscore so i'll give db underscore backup dot py okay now i have to write my dag structure one by one so so this is the example we'll be following so first thing whenever we are writing our dag first thing we have to import a module so first we need airflow module and from airflow module we have to import a dag okay so i'll write import airflow and here i'll write from airflow import dag okay so this is only so i'll be importing more modules okay and let me again remind you one thing as i said always i'll be making a small mistake even i know it or i might not know that mistake okay and i'll try to resolve in runtime some mistake i'll be making intentionally because we learn from mistake and if the common mistakes i'm making you will be remembering that mistake okay here we got an error so this is the common mistake and we can avoid that okay so i'll be making some mistakes here whenever i am making any sessions on google cloud also i'll do the same things okay so now you ignore these errors for now because we are not importing any modules or downloading any modules in our cloud shell we are just writing files here okay so now once this is done so we have to give one a default argument so what are the default argument let me show the example here so here you could see that is default argument so this is nothing but a common you can refer as a common set of variable which will be applicable to all your tasks so i'll be using it as it is okay but now we are using this time delta so we have to import time delta so i'll write from dead time import time delta okay so now we have this default args and we imported a module now we have to initialize the dag so how it initialize here we'll see okay so we'll just simply copy this i'll write here okay now this is a dag's name we want our dag's name as a backup 
or db backup so your files name will not be your dag name whatever you are giving here is a dag id and that will be your dag name okay so dag name i am given as a db backup so default asks will be used whatever is available in this description i will mention database backup okay and this is my dag initialization so we'll need again a dag objects whenever we are creating multiple tasks and we pass dag id in our dag object so this is our dag id we can refer as inside our dag object okay so now i'll create task so we can copy the task from our existing dag so i'll copy this dag so this is our first task so name instead of task id what i am doing i am giving name to stop vm okay now let me again go back and i'll show you i have one vm instance created and i am using this for our demo so first thing i'll be stopping this vm then i'll try for machine image creation if it is failed i'll task i will ask for a snapshot creation and then i'll start my virtual machine so whatever flow we have explained here i'll try to implement that in a airflow okay so this one is not imported so let me import it so we missed to import that now i'll import that bash operator so if you are facing issue to import you can simply put on google how to import bash operator so as i already worked on airflow i know a bit about airflow so i can put from airflow dot operators dot bash underscore operators and here i can import bash operators okay so hope our error is gone now yeah okay here you can ignore but we have to import that anyhow so first stop vm and here i'll give command to stop vm so i'll write gcloud i'll be using a gcloud command compute instance stop and instance name would be database zone will be us central one hyphen a okay so this will be my gcloud command now one more thing i have to do here so retry here you could see retry is showing one i don't want any retry so if task is failed i want to mark it as a failed i don't want to retry it okay and then this is not required let me comment this if we are retrying for five times then it will check for after every five times to retry that okay so we have created one task here so depend on pass so if we are scheduling daily it will check yesterday's execution if we are doing false then today's execution is nothing to do with it yesterday's execution if we set as a true then if yesterday's execution is failed then today's also automatically uh, show as a failed so it depends on the past execution and this priority wedge is nothing but a priority of task execution if you have multiple tasks and DAGs, then you have to set that so by default it is one and this is not required for now i'll remove or i'll keep as it is okay so this is a simple one task we have created let me upload this to my storage bucket so how i will upload that so here i will just do gsutil ls and i will see my cloud composer bucket first so this is my cloud composer bucket i will see dag folder inside it okay i have dag folders here now i go to airflow and we'll see the files we created yeah we have files here so i'll simply copy using gsutils cp star means we have only one file so i can give stars 
and I have to copy into this DAX folder. Okay, so if you are doing in your local, you can simply upload from this upload button. So now let me refresh. We have uploaded file here. Okay, we have database backup file now after few seconds so it might take 30 seconds to one minute to reflect your DAG in your ui but always remember if there is any syntax error in your python it will show as an import error in your DAG ui i'll show you that also i'll making some mistakes so it will give error but you should know where you can see error if there is any mistakes in our or there is any syntax error in a python so forget me forgive me for a word mistake so not mistakes error so now i'll keep refreshing and after some time it will show here so these are the current active deck by the way google also has introduced some new features in cloud composer where you can see all these details in a composer ui itself let me show you where you can see i'll go to composer now you could see this i was saying the same we have that uh, import error broken DAG, and no module found airflow operators bash operators okay so we missed or uh, there is some issue while importing our bash operator so that is our syntax error that's why DAG will not show on a ui so let me show how to import a bash operator in airflow or we already have here i guess i will simply use that file or use that line yeah i can use as it is so we have bash operator here let me see what I missed. Let me compare first so I'll understand what I missed. Okay, here I have to put bash operator. I put this one. So here is my typo. Now let me save again. So I have to again copy. So I'll simply execute this command again. Okay, and now here this should go away if we are uploading correct file let me refresh yeah now let me go to DAX here you could see our new DAG DAG backup let me go inside it now this is something new google has introduced earlier in com earlier composer this was not there where we could see all these features on a google cloud console itself we have to go to airflow ui and this is the main things actually we have to use airflow ui for main operation but yeah we can use a google cloud console also nowadays so let me go to dax again and we'll see if our dag is showing there yeah so we have db backup here so let me i didn't schedule it i'll show you how to schedule in our next few sessions but for now i just created so don't go in grade view go in graph view so it is easy to understand now we created only one task stop vm okay so this is not in a running status you could see the status here if this color purple means default red is failed this one is queued green is running dark green is success yellow is up for retry and this is no status so currently it is having no status so what i will do either i will trigger from here or i will utilize my google's feature so i'll go here db backup and from here i'll click on a trigger a dag now here see you could see no dag runs to display at a left side once i click it will show a dag runs it will create one dag instance okay here it started now let me go and refresh here it will turn green or let me reload from here yeah 
yeah so it is running now so this is only a first task i have created from our complete pipeline so i am just testing my initial dag initialization and import statements are correct and i'll see if this can stop my virtual machine i'll go here also and see if it currently you could see it's running let me refresh yeah now you could see it's getting stopped and our dag will be successful then so it should turn dark green yeah now it is successful so if i just bring my mouse here so you could see the detail status success task id a runtime so manual means i manually triggered if i schedule it will give as auto and the timing now i'll go inside this and i can check the logs okay so here it will show you what command i executed yeah so this is the command I executed gcloud instance stop this one stopping instance then it will show updated instances stop and it is success so now first task is successful so congratulations to me without any failure my first diag is successful so i can go and check here in diagram yeah so i can simply go here diagram and i can see my instances so here this one is successful now now what i'll do i'll again go here and i'll add one more task so what was our second task so our second task was to take a machine image okay so we'll go and take a machine image so now i can append many tasks as i have syntax here already so i'll just copy this i'll make it as a t2 let me close this i'll make it as a t2 and here i'll okay let me first check how uh, the exact command to take a machine backup or machine image gcloud compute machine images create yeah so this one is correct we have to give source instance that is fine and source zone i guess yes so let me go and write this create my source instance would be database and source zone will be us central one hyphen a okay so okay task id how to change so i will change my task id as a create image and i'll again upload this file yeah so this will replace latest file and again let me go and refresh okay now it's already there we updated file inside our task so we have to check inside the DAG if it is updated so now we have two tasks in our one DAG I will go inside and check in graph view it is showing one or two so currently it is showing one only I will just keep refreshing for some time and once it is showing two I will again resume my video okay now you can see our second task create image also showing here so what i will do first i will start my vm again because my first task will fail as vm is already in stop status so i'll start it 
so how to handle these failures i will show you in our next few sessions we will be covering many scenarios in our cloud composer we will be creating multiple DAGs this is a very first and basic example i am showing how to create a DAG okay now let me execute our DAG again so i will trigger to form here this time trigger DAG okay now you could see both are in running status but one thing you observe so both are running simultaneously but what was our requirement so first we have to execute stop database if it is successful then we have to go for a machine image creation or after this we have to execute a machine image so even our vm is starting then also we can create machine image but for a separate side we are for stopping and then taking machine image this dependency is missing so we'll see how we can create this dependency currently both are running a parallel okay so now you could see this create image is failed but vm is stopped so one task is successful one task is failed now i'll see why it is failed so simply i can click on it and i can check a log here okay here i missed yeah you could see again i missed and this is my genuine miss sorry for that so here instead of source zone i have to give source instance zone okay so i'll update that and i'll push again yeah and one more thing we missed a dependency so how to add dependency i'll show you so both the task will not execute at the same time so to add that dependency we can define like t1 this two arrow t2 so greater than greater than t2 so what will happen once t1 is executed then t2 will execute now you could see the power of these two arrows in airflow just see here first now you could see both are running parallel there is no dependency both are independent they don't know anything about each other now we'll add a dependency that first execute a stop vm and then execute create image now let me upload a file again okay now let's wait okay one more thing so all these task execution and a status we can check in console as well so from here you could see the DAG run I can click on this DAG run and it will show why it is failed and which task is failed so here you could see it failed this task I can click on this task and it will show me the log immediately here as well so here also I can see as I was mentioning you the cloud composer architecture that how the logs are being sent to uh, cloud logging from the airflow so we have that one service uh, what was the name of that service let me recall uh, yeah it was flundy so it was sending airflow logs to a google cloud logging so let me see now let me refresh and see the dependency is set and updated file picked up so it will take 30 second to one minute or more so we can set this refresh interval also in config file so in our storage bucket let me show you so currently i am in dax folder we have one config file here outside of the airflow config so you can open this config file and see what are the different configuration set for this web server and the workers and everything for this cloud composer environment 
so it's better not to change anything from this file so i'm not doing anything to this file now i'll keep everything as a default i just want to show you that for your knowledge okay let me reload again and we'll see so this video is getting a bit longer so i won't take much time from a next video onward because then you will be comfortable on creating the DAG and I will be mostly concentrate on the logic in Python. And we have updated DAG here now with dependencies. So let me try to rerun now. So first it should trigger stop VM. If it is successful then only it should give for, uh, go for create image. So before that first let me check if VM is running. It stop. Let me start it. and then i can go for dag trigger so let it start first okay now let me trigger it Yeah, so now you can see it only triggered first task. If it is successful, then only it will go for next task. Now second task is also triggered. It's running. We'll see if it fails or succeed. I'll go to this page here and it go in machine image if it is successful it will create machine image yeah you could see it's creating machine image here so a task should be successful by this time it's still running because machine image creation is in progress Yeah, so our DAG is successful now and using this option we can set up a dependency in our DAG. So let me show you the code here. So using this we can set up a dependency in our DAG. So hope you have understood by this time that how we can create DAG, how we can set up dependency and how we can add a task inside the DAG. So we'll add few more tasks in this DAG in our next video as this video is already getting longer. So in next video, we'll see how we can add one more task which would execute on a failure, not on success. So here we have dependency that it should execute if previous DAG has failed. So we'll try to add that dependency. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in our next video.